I'll shortly be called up behind the mobile. Susie Vale, followed by Miss Joyner, then Wee Janie, Paola Sue, in behind them came Copper Phil, then Night Heat, Peppy's Pride, and Val Maori. Four's the favourite, Miss Joyner. Sue. Sue and also Miss Joyner on the tote showing $3.80 as they're about to be called up. Next best eight copper fill at $5.60. Now the mobile about to roll. Start in the back straight around to the judge in two laps of the track here at Terelgan, which is 800 metres in circumference. And the mobile is rolling now for the first time here today. Power Sue's the inside runner. Val Mowry back a little from the gate at the moment, now coming up. Wider out, Wee Janie. Approaching the dispatch point now, 2100 metres the journey. All set. Ready, light comes up and they're off and racing in the first here. Power Sewell on the inside is hunting up early to retain the inside. Val Mowry began well as well and they're followed by Miss Joyner over on the outside. Getting through on the inside then came Night Heat. Back midfield is Wee Janie now, followed by, and on the inside came Special Purchase. About 10 or 15 metres away then came Copper Phil. He's back amongst the tail enders in the early stages with Susie Vale and Peppy's Pride. Into the straight they come this time at the 1800 metre mark and the leader is Power Sue a metre or so in front of Val Maori about to join it now on the outside five metres away then came Miss Joyner in third placing, Night Heat over on the outside of Special Purchase, six or seven metres away then came Wee Janie a gap back in the field then the others they're followed by over on the outside is Susie Vale, back amongst the tail enders is Copper Phil and last of all is Peppy's Pride, they stride to the back straight now and they're almost back to where they started from and at the 1300 metre mark the leader is Power Sue just in front of Val Maori again going up to join it on the outside. Here's a move coming now. Night Heat whipping around them three wide. Miss Joyner's back in the centre. They're followed by Special Purchase locked away on the inside behind the leader now. Followed by Wee Janie. In behind them came Copper Phil. Back second last now was uh, Susie Vale. And last of all was Peppy's Pride. Off the back they swing once again. They'll face the bell when they stride into the straight and power Sue the leader. Just in front of Val Maori on the outside. Continuing to make ground three wide is Night Heat. Special Purchase back in behind the leader. In the centre was Miss Joyner, followed by uh, Wee Janie in the running line. They're followed by Copper Phil back on the inside. Now second last is Peppy's Pride and Susie Vale last of all. The bell sounding. 800 to go as they go to the back. And Power Sue three metres in front now of Val Maori over on the outside who's second. They're followed by Special Purchase locked away. Back in the centre, Miss Joyner looking for a run. Out three wide is Night Heat. They're followed by further back then came Copper Phil. Starting to make ground quickly around them was Wee Janie and Peppy's Pride back at the rear. The run's coming now as they head down the back the last time at the 500 and Power Sue again gets three metres in front. The danger could be Wee Janie making ground quickly on the outside. They're followed by Special Purchase now getting clear. Dropping off is Val Maori whipping around the outside. From well back was Peppy's Pride as they come up to the circle and the leader is Power Sue with 300 to go still a metre or so in front of Wee Janie around the outside Peppy's Pride running on well and wider still getting clear is Miss Joyner in the straight Power Sue is kicked at the top of the straight it's five metres in front Peppy's Pride is trying hard followed by Miss Joyner down the outside it's Power Sue getting tired getting to it in the centre Peppy's Pride Power Sue Peppy's Pride Peppy's Pride goes home the better and wins a head on the line to Power Sue third placing went to Miss Joyner in behind them came Wee Janie, a good gap back then, special purchase, Night Heat, in behind them, Copper Phil, followed by Val Maori, and uh, very tired going over the line in last placing, Susie Vale. Wait our placings on the first race here. Peppy's Pride has come with a good run in the straight. Power Sue kicked at the top of the straight, probably got five or six metres in front, but then the run started to die halfway up the straight. And Peppy's pride on the outside has gone home the better to score. There are the numbers in the frame. They are 9, 1 and a 4. 
The winner, number nine, Pepe's Pride, driven by Alan Everson. Second placing to one, Power Sue, driven by Robin Wells. And a third to four, Miss Joyner, Paul Grech. Placings nine, one, four. On race one, the Fast Night Mares and Philly Stakes here at Terrelgan. So our placings here are nine, one and a four. Pepe's Pride, as I said, going home too well on the line. It's probably got up to score by a metre or so from Power Sue with a Miss Joyner third, and we'll have more from Terrelgan soon. <clears throat> Start are about to call them up. Being called up now. Toad favourite here, Irritator at 290, ahead of Churn at 320 as they're coming up to the tapes now. These youngsters, the two year olds. <coughs> Wolf Law back a little on the outside, backpedalling never on strike, and uh, Trinity Kid, the first starter, turning side on there. Comes up better again. Now uh, Wolf Law comes up, he lets them go, they're off and racing this time. Galloping away, but getting back into its gear now is Irritator. Coming away okay was Trinity Kid, the first starter. Likewise Churn, so sorting themselves out in the early stages. And Churn goes to the lead. Churn is the leader by 10 metres over in second placing Trinity Kid. Whipping around the outside is Wolf Law now into second. Now Trinity Kid is third, followed by Irritator, one off the fence. And never on strike back at the rear. As they swing into the straight the first time, and they'll face the bell this time. And the leader is bowling along nicely in front here, Churn. Churn the best part of 10 to 12 metres in front of Wolf Law, who's gone to a clear second. They're followed by Irritator getting closer to the rails now. In behind them, Trinity Kid, and last of all, Never On Strike. Reasonably well spread out in single file as they head past the judge and out of the straight. Short of a lap to go now. And the leader is Churn. Still five or six metres in front of Wolf Law getting closer now. In third placing is Irritator. A good gap back in the field then of some 15 metres came Trinity Kid. And back at the rear is Never On Strike. Still in single file as they work their way down the back. And the leader is Churn now coming off the fence to challenge his Wolf Law. And as they go past the 500, Churn on the inside being joined and passed by Wolf Law. They're They've sprinted 10 metres on Irritator, who's third. A good gap back then, Trinity Kid and Never On Strike as they come to the top circle at the 350. And Churn on the inside has kicked back to join Wolf Law. That pair together well clear on Irritator in third placing as they swing the home turn. And Churn, the whips are cracking. Churn again gets a couple of metres in front. Wolf Law trying hard out in the centre of the track. It's Churn and Wolf Law. Wolf Law might be going home a bit the better now on Churn, weakening on the run. And Wolf Law, Wolf Law scores by four metres to churn. 10 metres or 15 metres away in third place in came Irritator. In behind them came Trinity Kid and last in was never on strike. <coughs> White Owl placings here. Number seven, Wolf Law will be the winner. There they go into the frame now. Number seven, Wolf Law the winner from a five, churn and six, Irritator third. Seven, Five and six in our sprint race over the short journey of 1350 metres there. And number seven, Wolf Law, driven by Rita Burnett, is the winner of the second race. Over five, Churn, Frank as a party, and third to six, Irritator Lee Kirby. Placing seven, five, six on race number two. <coughs> I-O-S-2-9-1. 
one, two. A brown Mazda. Spot pace. Third event out of Glenview Park to Rolgan today. Being called up. Standing start all from the front mark here. Six across the front and a Jolly Rata Thunderburst the second row. Being called up to the tapes. Riverly Parra our inside one runner with Scotch Whiskey. Caught you wider out. Outside of the front row is on a roll. They're being brought right up to the mark. 21.50 the journey. Round to the judge and two laps. On a roll back a little on the outside of the front row being brought up again. Others stand pretty well. He's happy with the, the line. He's set to go and racing this time on a roll. Galloped away. Uh, skipping for a few strides as well was caught you and winning the start, Riverly Par, the pole marker. Lead settling down by three or four metres. In second, placing up on the inside now, Scott's Whiskey Angles for the sit. They're followed by in third, placing Colcrest, one off the fence. Back on the inside was Thunderburst. The next one is Jaru Moore as they settle down into stride from on a roll. They're followed by Jolly Rada going up on his outside. And let's have a look for the other one, caught you, skipped away and has tailed off the best part of 100 metres as they swing into the straight the first time and they'll come down with two laps to go and Demler takes this one to the lead now Scotch Whiskey, Scotch Whiskey strides clear by six metres, in second placing is Riverly Parr, about eight metres away in third placing came Thunderburst, one off the fence is Cole Crest, they're followed by back on the inside came On a Roll, Jaru Moore in the running line followed by Jolly Rada and still 75 metres away last of all is Courtu into the back straight they're back to where they started from and uh, as they stride on towards the 1300 metre mark now and the leader is Scotch Whiskey Scotch Whiskey by 6 metres in front of Riverly Parr who's second whipping around the outside now Jolly Rada up into the death they're followed by in fourth place in Colcrest now with the sit one by one Thunderburst three back the rails one off the fence is Jaru Moore in the running line followed by on a roll and still the best part of 60 metres away in last placing was Courtu as they swing into the straight once again they'll face the bell this time and at the thousand metre mark as they round the turn the leader is Scotch Whiskey by three or four metres in front of Jolly Rada who's gone up to second on the inside Riverly Par then one off the fence came Colcrest Back on the inside on a roll, starting to go forward three wide now is Jaru Moore and the last of the main bunch is now on a roll. As they swing out of the straight with short of a lap to go now and the leader bowling along nicely in front is Scotch Whiskey. In second placing Jolly Rada getting a little closer now on the outside. Third behind the leader was Riverly Parr. They're followed by Jaru Moore running on nicely. In behind them came Colcrest, Thunderburst back on the inside and on a roll's last of the main bunch. Down the back they go and still Scotch Whiskey, the run one to run down, still three metres in front, trying to get out Riverly Park, blocked at the moment by Jolly Rada on his outside, they're followed by Jaru Moore coming into a three wide, a gap back then came Colcrest and heading the rest is Thunderburst, about to swing the home turn at the 300, and Scotch Whiskey is still three metres in front, now the run comes for Riverly Park out after it, they're clear then on Jolly Rada in the straight, Scotch Whiskey still five or six metres in front, Riverly Park trying hard down the the outside but Scotch Whiskey kept going by Demler near the line and Scotch Whiskey scores nicely by 10 metres on the line Riverly Park good go for third Jolly Rada has just hung on from Thunderburst wider out was Colcrest wider still Jaru Moore in behind them on a roll and uh, here comes Courtu after missing his chances at the start is a long last White Owl placings Number two, the winner, Scotch Whiskey, driven by Ted Demler. Short price favourite on the tote at 
around a dollar thirty both ways in fact for Winan Place and Scotch Whiskey has won nicely here over Riverly Par number one and the judge calling for a photo for third Jolly Rada was on the inside it might have just hung on but they were swamping it near the line Thunderburst is there with Colcrest in the centre it's two one and a photo after race number three for a start here. Race number four, the Trotters. Ondine Boutique Trotters handicap over 21.50 round to the judge and two laps. All up well, they're set, they're ready, they're racing this time. Uh, Keystone Zuma a little slow to go on the inside. Maori Dante won the start over on the inside. Lady of Venice up on its outside early. They're followed by Williams Fair who skipped there and so is the leader Maori Dante. It skipped as well. This leaves Lady of Venice in front. Again, getting down Maori Dante again goes to second. Galloping as well as Williams Fair. So sorting themselves out in the early stages. And a Lady of Venice is the leader. By four or five metres Maori Dante who's again uh, trotting there in second placing. They're followed by whipping around them in the early stages, Riviera Idol. Back on the inside as they work their way down the straight the first time was Olympic Idol. A gap back then, the one in the all white, Cry No More. They're followed by uh, Keystone Zuma. Further back then, those that made early mistakes, Williams Fair. And last of all was Notable Speed. So past the judge they go, with short of two laps to go now as they head out of the straight. Lady of Venice leads them to the back. In second placing up on the outside is Maori Dante. They're followed by behind the leader third on the rails came Olympic Idol. Out a little wide there is uh, Riviera Idol now getting in for the one by one. Further back was Cry No More. A gap back in the field, Keystone Zuma. About uh, the best part of 30 metres away then came Williams Fair. And another 20 metres away, Notable Speed. Down the back they go at the uh, 1100 metre mark now. And the leader is Lady of Venice striding up on the outside. Maori Dante within three metres now. Third on the inside is Olympic Idol. Covered up by Riviera Idol on the outside and the one by one the next pair back at Keystone Zuma the inside of Cry No More a good gap back the other pair Williams Fair and Notable Speed into the straight this time they'll face the bell and the leader Lady of Venice has been there from the outset in second placing Maori Dante up on the outside within a couple of metres now third is occupied by Olympic Idol locked away one by one Riviera Idol they're followed by Cry No More in the running line from Keystone Zuma the inside and the last pair about to tack on are Williams fair and notable speed short of a lap to go now as they stride to the back at the 650 meter mark the leader is lady of venice still three meters in front of maori dante on the outside second whipping around them three wide now is riviera idol about to go up and contest for the lead and behind them came olympic idol they're followed by further back cry no more keystone zuma and forget the other pair down the back they go a line of three now lady of venice in the center maori dante and out three wide is riviera idol and about to join in four wide is cry no more as the field bunches and behind them then came Olympic Idol one's gone for a gallop Lady of Venice the leader went for a gallop likewise Maori Dante this leaves cry no more in front out wide cry no more is clear now on in second placing running on his Olympic Idol they're followed by Keystone Zuma from a long way back it's uh, cry no more striding clear trying hard now Keystone Zuma down the outside Olympic Idol the rails cry no more getting tired flashing out a Keystone Zuma no cry no more cry no more has just just hung on to beat Keystone Zuma, third placing Olympic Idol, in behind them Maori Dante, then came Williams Fair, further back was Riviera Idol, they're followed by Notable Speed, and uh, Lady of Venice, which was leading with 300 to go, galloped and has finished last of all. Action packed affair, the Trotters. Wait our placings. Numbers about to come up. Judge has called for a photo to separate Cry No More and the fast finishing Keystone Zuma in an action packed Trotters handicap. There's a line of about four with 350 to go, but then Lady of Venice galloped. Maori Dante galloped as well. And the race changed complexion. Cry No More was left clear on the turn. 
but uh, it was struggling over the last 50 metres or so. Keystone Zuma was making quick ground. And here's Brisbane. Xerox is our inside runner. Marillion next to it with JJ Advice. Out wide a dark signet along with uh, Shark at Khan, Barwon Knight. Mobile rolling now. Xerox the inside runner on the front row from Marillion. JJ Advice, dark signet, Shark at Khan and Barwon Knight on the front row. Golden Classic, Kuriban Sport the second row. Down to the judge and two laps are all set, ready. Green light comes up, off and racing this time. Showing some pace out in the centre with Shark Khan in the early stages along with JJ Advice who crosses to the rails. Settling down, JJ Advice leads them. Back in second placing, Shark Khan out three wide. Dark Signet back in the centre. They're followed by Xerox as they work out of the straight. Trapped a little wide in the early stages was Barwon Knight. Marillion one off the fence. Followed uh, by back on the inside, Golden Classic and uh, Kuriban Sport brings up the rear. So as they head into the back straight on the first occasion, and the leader at the 1300 metre mark is JJ Advice, narrowly in front of Barwon Knight continuing to make ground three wide. Back in the centre, Shark Khan. They're followed by two back on the rails came Xerox. One off the fence was Dark Signet. And behind them, three back the rails came Golden Classic. Racing in the running line, Marillion. And back at the rear is Kuriban Sport. Off the back they swing this time. At the uh, lap and a half mark. And the leader is JJ Advice, narrowly in front of Barwon Knight, who's finally got up into the death in second placing. Xerox behind the leader, followed by in the one by one came Shark Khan. They're followed by in the running line, Golden Classic. A metre or so back on the inside came Kuriban Sport, followed by Marillion. And back at the rear of the field now is Dark Signet. The bell sounding, 800 to go. And the leader, bowling along OK in front, is JJ Advice. Over on the outside, Barwon Knights had the tougher of the two runs. Back in third placing, Xerox behind the leader. Shark Khan enjoying the run of the race one by one. And behind them, Kuriban Sport, three back the rails, locked away on the inside of Golden Classique. Then Marillion. And back at the rear is Dark Signet. Along the back they go, the pace quickening. The leader, JJ Advice, a metre in front of Barwon Knight on the outside second. No run for Xerox yet, followed by Shark Khan in the centre. Center. Going uh, forward three wide now as they work off the back was Golden Classique. In behind them came Marillion there, followed by uh, Kuriban Sport. And at the tail of the field came Dark Signet. 300 to go on the turn. JJ Advice still the one to run down. Now out after it is Barwon Knight still sticking on. Further back then uh, making ground three wide. In it came Golden Classique in the straight now. And JJ Advice still a metre or so in front of Barwon Knight. Now the run's coming. Marillion's out wide and in the centre. Golden Classique seek it's still JJ advice though defying them and JJ advice wins a meter host of them there for the miners Barwon Knight out wider was Golden Classique wider still Marillion back near the inside Xerox to pull up they're followed by uh, Shark Khan in behind them with uh, in second last placing Kuriban Sport and tailed off Dark Signet stand by for placings photo all placings, photo all placings here a photo all placings JJ Advice looks to have possibly held on on the inside. And a host of them there. And the judge calling for a photo for all placings. Race 5 to Relgan. My eagle eyes out as well. I thought he was going to sign the cup. He's a bit disgusted, bro. The beat thing coming in. I think so, yeah. Well, it does spoil it. 
Yep. But, but the others, I mean... My eagle eye's not going anywhere. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it is disappointing. I reckon you'd be disappointed as an owner. You just don't know what might happen. I mean, it might handle the wet. It might get a good run. Exactly. You'd be. I reckon you'd be really disappointed as an owner. I reckon I'd want to take the risk. Okay, it's a wet track, but, you know, tell the jockey not... at the end of two miles on a wet track. Okay, being called up here. <laughs> now they're being called up for race number six here at Terelgan, the uh, Perry Cutton Statewide Series D second heat. Coming up behind the mobile, journey of 2100 here. Start in the back straight around to the judge and uh, two laps of the track. It's about two and three quarter laps. The journey, prominent force on the inside here. Copper Classic in two, set to go, ready. Green light comes up off and racing this time. The tote favourite Copper Classic begun well. And it'll lead on settling down from Skidoo up on the outside second. Prominent Force goes to third along the inside, followed by Koala Bear in the early stages one by one. They're followed by True Irish getting up along the inside. Further back then was Liquidation one off the uh, fence. Out to wider still there as they come around the first turn was County Square. Uh, back second to last at the moment there uh, in second last placing is Super Spanner and the one that's galloping back in the field was One Wish. Down uh, past the judge they come with two laps to go at the 1700, the leader Copper Classic. Copper Classic going along okay in front. The pace is not quick. Skidoo ranges up on the outside to second. Prominent forces third. Koala Bear one by one. Uh, then over on the outside was Liquidation. Covering up over on the inside there, Super Spanner. Then a few metres away came County Square. And uh, last of all is One Wish. As they head back to where they started from now, at the 1400 metre mark, the leader Copper Classic by two metres in front. In second placing up on the outside is Skidoo. Uh, in behind the leader came prominent force on the rails locked away koala bear one by one three back the rails came true irish followed by liquidation the outside county square getting up along the inside followed by super spanner who's gone one off the fence and last of all is one wish so they make their way to the top circle once again they'll face the bell this time and the leader copper classic with uh, 1200 meters to go copper classic rounds the turn in front by a meter or so in front of skidoo who's had the harder of the two runs but they haven't gone quickly third is occupied by prominent force, Koala Bear one by one in behind them came True Irish over on the inside, uh, then three back in the running line was Liquidation for Tracy Demler, further back then on the inside as they work out of the straight was County Square, second to last in the running line Super Spanner and uh, bringing up the rear is One Wish they head to the back on the final occasion uh, short of 500 to go now the leader Copper Classic still the one to run down, three metres in front of Skidoo in second placing, they're followed by prominent force behind the lead Further back, Koala Bear one by one. No run yet. True Irish is next, followed by Liquidation. Then came County Square, One Wish, and last of all, Super Spanner. Off the back they come. Copper Classic still three metres in front of Skidoo. They're followed by, uh, coming home well now, is a prominent force who's come off the rails. Getting up along the inside, True Irish. They're followed by, further back as they swing the home turn, was Liquidation into the straight. Copper Classic kicked away, five metres in front. Out after it now is True Irish, followed by further back came prominent force in the straight though Copper Classic is hanging on trying hard is True Irish but Copper Classic wins by 4 metres True Irish third on the inside went to County Square they're followed by prominent force liquidation in behind them Koala Bear further back to uh, pull up then in the field was Skidoo second to last Super Spanner and uh, last to go greet the judge there was One Wish await the placings on the 6th the Perry Cutton statewide Series D second heat You'll find number two is the winner here. There it is in the frame. Number two, Copper Classic, Chris Alford is the winner.